CGM stands for Continuous Glucose Monitor. And that is exactly what this little device does when you stick it on your skin. It continually monitors your glucose or sugar level. If you have diabetes, you may already be in love with a CGM because they replace the finger pricks that used to be required to track your blood sugar at home. If you're not diabetic like me, a CGM can teach you so much about how your unique body is handling your lifestyle choices and the foods you eat. No more guesswork, lots of fun revelations. Let's go over what I learned and how Levels is making it possible for everyone, including you, to get one. This is Levels. They are sponsoring this video and I appreciate them reaching out to me because Levels makes it possible for anyone to benefit from a continuous glucose monitor. Now, when CGMs first came into use, they were focused on serving those with diabetes since the hallmark of the disease is difficulty regulating blood sugar levels. However, it did not take long for the general public to realize that knowing your blood sugar level in real time would be extremely valuable. Low carb and keto dieters have a special appreciation for this information because keeping blood sugar levels low and steady is the first step toward better fat burning and hunger control. The device is actually measuring the fluid around your cells called interstitial fluid to gauge your blood glucose level. The Levels app then gives you continual updates of your glucose level with only a few minutes delay. When Levels comes to your door, you register the sensor, stick the sensor on your arm or stomach using the applicator they send you, snap the transmitter into place, and it transmits the data directly to your phone. There's no additional finger pricks or anything. You are all set to watch your blood sugar level in real time. So think about the possibilities of that. You can see how foods affect you personally, not what we expect to see in the general public, but you. The Levels app makes it so simple to gather insights. You can compare foods, see how exercise impacts your blood sugar and test foods so you're never fooled by hidden sugars or packaged foods that tell you they are keto friendly, hoping you'll just take their word for it. Now I'm going to share my results with you in a moment, but first let me explain how you can get Levels for yourself. Everything is ordered online. And right now, Levels is offering my viewers an additional two free months of the Levels membership when you use my link, levels.link slash Dr. Becky. When the package arrives at your door, you will have everything you need to see how your diet and lifestyle choices impact your metabolic health. Now, when you monitor your blood sugar, what you want to happen is blood sugar stability with gradual up and down patterns throughout the day and a quick recovery from a blood sugar spike when it does happen. Now, I'm not a particularly tech savvy person. So one of the first things I did was simply watch what was happening to my blood sugar throughout the day. I really just liked opening the app and seeing where my blood sugar was at that moment. Then I began the simple task of logging my food, which was as simple as snapping a picture. And this is when the whole thing got fun. It was literally a matter of days before I was like, oh, I wonder what this will do to my blood sugar. For instance, on this day, I had my typical lunchtime salad and then had a homemade soup at dinner that contained beans. The Levels app showed me how those two meals affected me. The salad had no refined or starchy carbs and as expected, caused a nice stable blood sugar rise and fall. The soup contained beans, which is not a typical food for me. Beans are starchy carbs and that meal caused a moderate blood sugar spike. The neat thing was that my body handled that increase, bringing the level down a couple of hours later to the pre-meal level. That response is a good indication of insulin sensitivity. Now, this is not intended to be a definitive diagnosis of insulin resistance or any other condition, but if your blood sugar stays high after a meal, you have a valuable clue that your metabolic health is not where it needs to be or is even working against your fat loss efforts. When your blood sugar is high, your body responds by secreting insulin. Insulin moves the sugar into your cells where it is used for energy. If there's excess, it goes into storage, most of which ends up in fat cells. When blood sugar stays high, insulin stays high, locking you in fat storing mode and blocking fat burning. So you can learn valuable insights into your metabolic health using levels. You can also clearly evaluate your food choices. 
One of my favorite things to do was compare meals. I could snap a picture of my restaurant meal and then watch over the next two hours to see how it affected me. I could then see how that meal compared to a similar meal made at home. For instance, my husband and I love to go to lunch at Fabio's, which is one of our favorite restaurants for their Mediterranean chicken salad. I really like this salad, so I was really hoping it would lead to a stable blood sugar response, and it did. In fact, the Levels app allowed me to make a direct comparison of the two meals, even though I ate them on separate days. Both my homemade salad and the restaurant salad ranked a nine out of 10, indicating great stability. Now, food is not the only thing that impacts your blood sugar throughout the day. One of the really cool things I noticed was how different types of exercise affected my blood glucose level. When you need quick energy, glucose is your body's fuel of choice because it is easy to burn. I typically exercise in a fasted state, which is a state where my blood sugar level is relatively low. On days when I lift weights, the intense exercise requires extra glucose, so my body pulls what it needs out of storage units in my muscles and liver. My muscles use up what they have in reserve and my liver sends additional glucose to my blood. The liver has multiple ways of doing this, but ultimately it is the organ that ensures I have enough glucose in my blood to keep going. What was really fascinating was seeing this play out in real time with the generation of a quick, sharp blood sugar spike after an intense workout. The spike was very short term because my cells took in that added energy from my bloodstream, returning my blood sugar to normal. I just found this incredibly motivating because, you know, lifting weights is hard. And while I love the benefits of it, I'm not always excited about doing it. With the CGM attached, I found myself working harder and more enthusiastically because I couldn't wait to see that metabolic flexibility at play. And by the way, all types of exercise will improve your metabolism, but this dramatic blood sugar change was not seen after less intense workouts like stretching or walking my soon to be 16 year old dog, which is really not fast enough to qualify as a workout. So if your diet is getting stale or your exercise routine is leaving you feeling flat, wondering if it's really doing anything, try levels. Health and weight loss goals are long-term goals and consistency is what brings progress. But keeping your motivation and enthusiasm going through the mundane middle days of a long-term goal is challenging. Levels is like having a coach watching over you, not letting you get away with little destructive thoughts like, I've been good, a couple of small cookies shouldn't hurt. Maybe not, or maybe so. See what is actually happening in real time and stop guessing so you can stop spinning your wheels, losing the same two pounds over and over again. I wanna thank Levels for sponsoring this video and allowing me to bring this CGM technology to you. If you'd like to get Levels for yourself, you can do so completely online. Your first purchase will include a one month supply of continuous glucose monitors and a 12 month software membership. And again, if you go to levels.link slash Dr. Becky, Levels is offering an additional two free months of their annual membership. That link is in the description area below for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.